Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper procedure for diagnosing an open or faulty spill switch on a gas boiler. Now first, let's take a look at the spill switch. It's right here in the center, and it's going to be located within the draft hood or draft diverter of an atmospheric gas appliance. Its function is to protect against spillage or backdrafting of combustion gases out of the draft hood and into the living space. And this would occur in the event that you had an obstruction in the chimney, uh, poor vent design, or possibly a competing exhaust appliance nearby that's pulling these gases out into the space. So now that we've seen the spill switch, let's take a look at the malfunction and how to properly diagnose it. So to begin with, as with any service call, we've got to ensure that the thermostat's calling for heat. So let's click the selector switch on the thermostat to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat above the room temperature. Next, click OK in the procedure guide, and we're going to need to refer to this after each step. Next, we're going to remove the cover from the boiler and do a brief inspection of what's running. Now that we've done this, click OK, and our next step is to see if the burners are firing. And if we look, we can see the burners are not firing, although we do have a pilot flame, so we don't have a thermal couple issue. So no, our burners are not firing. Our circulator pump, however, is in fact running, as evidenced by these spinning blue arrows. So our circulator's running. The next thing to evaluate would be the position of the vent damper. Now the vent damper is gonna close off the flue passageway on each off cycle, preventing standby loss of heated air up the vent. When the vent damper is open, the shaft of the motor should be vertical. And if we look here, we can see it's vertical. So it is open. Now, if the vent damper was closed, we would see the shaft flat or horizontal. But in fact, the vent damper is in fact open. So we're gonna click yes. We've already established we do have a pilot flame. Next, we wanna inspect for any loose wires. And we'll look at the gas valve first. And it appears that all wiring connections are secure. So we don't have any loose wires. And next, we want to check to see if the gas valve coil is receiving 24 volts. So we're going to place the meter leads across the coil connections on the gas valve and see what we've got for voltage here. And when we do this, we have zero volts, which indicates that the gas valve is not receiving 24 volts. Now, before I proceed any further, I'm going to take out the wiring diagram and just discuss the potential possible causes of this malfunction. Now we can see our meter leads placed here on the wiring diagram at the gas valve, and we have zero volts here. What this means is that one of these four switches here in this line leading to the gas valve are open. Now it could be the low water cutoff, it could be the rollout switch, the spill switch, or possibly the end switch or proving switch in the vent damper motor. Although the vent damper motor is functioning, we don't know that the end switch is actually closed. So now that we've done this, we're gonna store the wiring diagram temporarily, and we're gonna to proceed to our next step after clicking no on the procedure guide, and we're gonna place one of our leads at the connection on the high limit here on the glowing orange hotspot, click OK, and our black lead is gonna be placed at the right side of the spill switch. Now, we have zero volts here. If you're a little confused on this, again, let's take the wiring diagram out, and we'll be able to see the placement of the meter leads. And we can see here that the meter leads are in fact placed directly across the proving switch or end switch within the vent damper. And because it's showing zero volts, this verifies there's no difference in potential across that switch, and the switch is closed. Just to note, there's no direct connection to measure voltage on the vent damper and switch. So we've got to do it at these two locations. But now that we've verified that the vent damper proving switch or end switch is closed, we're going to click zero volts on the procedure guide. This now leads us to one of these three safety switches as our culprit. So first, let's inspect for loose wires on the spill switch prior to checking that. And as we can see, the wiring connections appear to be secure. So we don't have any loose wires. We're going to click no on our procedure guide. And next, we're going to measure voltage across the contacts of the spill switch. So we're going to place each of the leads at the glowing orange hotspots right across the normally closed contacts of the spill switch. And when we do this, we get 24 volts, which means we have a difference in potential here across the spill switch, and the spill switch is open. Now, again, let's review the wiring diagram for just a second here. 
And we do that, we can see our leads placed across the spill switch. And again, we've got 24 volts across it, verifying that the spill switch is open. Now it's gonna be very important to not just simply replace the spill switch. In most cases, the spill switch is opening due to some condition. This could be something like an obstruction in the vent, uh, poor vent design, or possibly a competing exhaust appliance nearby that's pulling combustion gases out of the draft hood, causing the spill switch to open. After you've found and corrected these issues, simply click on the spill switch and replace it. Click OK on the procedure guide. Our next step is to watch one full cycle of operation and go up to the residence and make sure heat is being received. And we can see that from graphic here on the baseboard heater that we are in fact getting heat to the space now. And just one more thing, if you want to review any of the steps in the procedure guide, click on this top left icon and you can review each of the steps we just took. Good luck on your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.